Hey guys, so today I wanted to make a video to show you how to change the front screen on the Motorola Luge XT907. If you're interested where I got this phone or where I got the parts to fix it, I'll include a link in the video description for that and also where I got the tools to work on this and um, anything that might be helpful to you I'll put in the video description. So next what we will need to do is, this is the same as the Droid Razor M as well. Um, this Motorola Luge is the same as the Droid Razor M and it's the XT907 as I said before. But so they're pretty much identical as far as repairs go. So I already removed these screws but there's three screws on this side, on each side here. I wanted to show you and it, it takes a Torx T5, sometimes a T4 if the T5 is a little bit tight. But uh, and then what we're going to need to do is remove this front here. It's got adhesive on it, pretty strong adhesive, so we're going to hit it with just a little bit of heat. And then also under this Motorola logo on the front here, we're going to hit that with a little bit of heat as well and try prying it. So now I just use a regular hair dryer like this. That's all I have, just a cheap little hair dryer. And so I just hit it for a few seconds here on high and didn't want to show it because it's noisy. And then so I just take like a guitar pick type thing and slide it under here on the front. You can see it's starting to crack there a little bit. And just go kind of carefully and wiggle it. And then once you get your uh, fingernail under it, you can kind of just, uh, just work it up. It's got kind of strong adhesive, but just make sure that it doesn't break or anything and just uh, slide it up kind of like that. Now you can see it has adhesive on it. But like some of this, this, this adhesive came off on this part and some of it stayed. Probably what I'll do is end up pulling this off and putting it on here. Or so now the next part, if you take your heat gun and apply a little bit of heat on here, I would say again, five to 10 seconds at the most. You don't want to do too much at a time. And then what works really well is to take a little razor. I don't have one to show right here, but to take a little razor or something really sharp and get under here, make sure not to scratch the top of this. What I ended up having to do is all I had was a tweezers that was fine enough. So I started under this corner right here and I got it a little bit loose right now. So it comes off a little harder than what I'm showing right here because I got it loose, but I just wanted to show you what you have to do. And this part comes right off. You have to be careful not to bend this or anything. So you have to be able to put this back and you're all done. And then there's two screws under here. So those two have to come out and these three have to come out. So that will be the next step. So just for a quick overview, I wanted to go over that there's three screws on this side, three screws on this side, and there's two screws on the top here, and three screws on the bottom here, and they're all different size. Well, the, the ones on the sides are the same size, and then the ones on the top and the bottom are different, so you wanna make sure to keep those separate. So next you will want to make sure, I should have mentioned this even sooner, but you want to make sure that there's no memory cards or SIM cards in the phone here. If there are, you will want to remove those. And then what you'll need to do is you can use a pry tool like this or perhaps even this one here, the guitar pick, and you will want to start somewhere. I would say right here in the middle is a good spot. And you want to start separating this and just kind of work your way around. See how it's starting to separate. No problem. And now, there's some little clips down here that you'll want to give extra attention to down here at the bottom. So there's a little plastic clip right here and on this side that you'll want to watch, it comes apart a little bit hard right there, but just be careful and then you want to... Now just watch when you're separating this that you have like a pry tool, something like that. I prefer a plastic one so it doesn't do any damage to any connectors. And you just want to reach in there and disconnect that connector and then you got it apart. Is it your piece speaker? What you will need to do just take something like this teasers or something and get under one corner just on here with adhesive just be careful and just kind of wiggle under one corner of it one end and just prise right up just like that 
has kind of a foam rubber um, thing around the outside. So to put your new one back in, all you need to do is just set it right down in place. Push down and make sure it's seated properly. And there you go. Okay, so this next part's a little hard to show, but to reassemble the front screen, what you need to do is just set it here close by and you can see this connector here and you have to reconnect this connector right here. So it's a little bit tricky, but it's not too bad. You just have to line it up properly and then press it down and then so next what we will need to do is to begin reassembly. Now just watch all the way around make sure everything's lining up properly. I would recommend getting these clips at the bottom here, these clips popped in first. And just make sure all the way around that everything is in properly. And then put your three screws back in the bottom here, the two on the top, and then put the three on each side and you can make sure that this is squeezed together before you tighten your screws for the final time. Just make sure that that crack is nice and tight. And um, there you go. So next after you have all your screws on the side, both sides, and then the two in the top and the three on the bottom. So next what you want to do is put this thing in the top here, the Motorola piece where it says we have Motorola and put it up here for the earpiece speaker. Set it down nicely. And then next you'll want to take this part here. Now earlier I had mentioned about the adhesive. I ended up putting it on this part. And you'll want to just take and set that right on there. Make sure it clicks in nicely. And I think what I would do just to, so it for sure sets up nicely is give it just a little bit of heat here and there and you're good to go. Then next remember to put your SIM card back in, your memory card, if you have any of those. And then last but not least Try to power the phone up, make sure that it's going to work, and you're good to go. Thanks for watching.